we're in a series called The Keys of the King. Come on, man. So we're going back to Matthew 16. If you go back with me to Matthew 16. Verse 13. Can you get this thing? Verse 13. When Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Come on. And they said, Some say that you are John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say you that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon and Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, mm. and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. If you abide in his, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, help us to get out of the way so we can receive your keys to the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Help us, dear Lord, to decrease and you increase. Lord, I pray your anointing rest upon the people in this house. Lord, I pray, dear Lord, that the word come forth and teach us what we are to do, dear Lord, to enter in. Teach us, dear Lord, to put faith in what you did at the cross, yes, Jesus. Lord. Lord, teach us, Lord, to know, to learn of you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You are meek and lowly. You say, come unto me, all ye who are heaven laden. Yes. Lord, we are heaven laden in here this morning, and we need to come unto you. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just pray, dear Lord Jesus, and we thank you for your presence. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Amen. How many know that the keys of the kingdom are the hidden mysteries of the living God? Amen. The hidden <laughs> mysteries of His Word. And it's not just the church in the Greek, it's called the Ecclesia. The Ecclesia are the called out ones. Come on. That means you and me are the church. Come on. Not this building, not this box, not the box down the road, not the big box holding 10,000 or 40,000 down there, wherever. We individually are the church. The church. And we come, come together and assemble together, and the Lord shows up and shows out. Amen. Come on. Amen. Well, the Lord tells us it's His good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Come on. Revelation says this in Revelation 3, 7, And the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? Wrong. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia. These things say he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no man opens. The key of David. I want you to register that for a minute. The key of David. What is the key of David that he's holy? Well, in one regard, the key of David is Christ Jesus. He affords us a way to come before the throne of grace. That is the key of David. That we come before the throne of grace and receive mercy and receive an answer in a time of need. We receive that compassion. We receive salvation. And it's only by what Jesus paid for at the cross. Come on. Yep. When we put our faith in what He paid for at that cross on Calvary, we receive that awesome power of God's Holy Spirit to set us free from anything we're going through. Amen. To save our souls from eternal death. Hmm. But also... There's a reason why he calls it the key of David. The key of David, you see, quite naturally it was prophesied that Jesus would come from David's bloodline, mm -hmm. the root of Jesse. But David learned something on his job thousands of years ago by the Holy Spirit. That's another reason it's called the key of David. David learned how to praise, praise. Come on. the living God. <laughs> it didn't matter how bad it looked. Come on, bro. It didn't matter what we thought was going on, how, how, how things look in the world today. It didn't matter how stinky those sheep got. Come on. It didn't matter how hard the job got. Come on. When the bear showed up, huh. I'm sure that was hard. Mm -hmm. You got a bear, a, a living bear. Now, people don't just look at it like it's a story. <laughs> this is real. Right? Yeah. He was working and a bear showed up to grab one of his sheep <laughs> that he was tending to. Come on. Have you ever been at your job and a bear show up? <laughs> Every night. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Break the silence. Come on. Every night. Come on. A bear show up in your 
your job situation. Uh, oh, yeah. Bear showed up in your family situation. Oh, oh, bear yeah. showed up, and do you, what do you do first? Do you get discouraged? No. You see, the key of David is he started praising and blessing God anyway. Come on here. In the midst of the bear showing up that he knew in the physical he could not handle. Yeah. That this job was too much for him. I cannot handle this bear. This bear weighs thousands, maybe a thousand pounds, and here I am, a little old 120 pound, 15 year old. Come on. I'm ready. Come on, preacher. I'm small, weak. I can't handle this bear. Hallelujah. I'm going to commend God, bless God, and praise God anyway. I'm going to play the harp and watch this bear fall. In the name of Jesus, there's a key for me. When the lion showed up, God gave him power over the lion. Yeah. The king of the jungle, right? Uh -huh. The roaring lion. Huh. David didn't get discouraged and start right. murmuring and complaining. Well, there's a lion on my job. <laughs> there's a lion right here. Right. Right. This is right here. It's taking me out. It's too much stress. It's on. Now, look, I'm on this. God's placed me here for some reason. It's just a big lion. He said, thank you, Jesus, for the lion. Because because of the lion, i got a job to protect the sheep. Praise God. Come on. Now. Thank you for adversity because with adversity, I find out that your grace is sufficient. Oh, on, Jesus. That's the key to David I'm talking about. There is a key to the kingdom of heaven. Right. You see what I'm saying? He says, I've given unto you the keys of the kingdom. Can we work in these keys? Come on. Can we work in these keys? On, you see, we have faith to believe that Jesus paid for it at the cross. But to walk in it, we must understand the keys that unlock the doors that no man can shut. Come on here. And the key that unlocks the door that no man can shut, praise God, is praising the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on here. When you start praising the Lord Jesus Christ, you enter into the highest form. Come on. The pinnacle of, of, of the union. You realize the awareness of you and God being together. Yeah. Yeah. How many know the flesh gets in the way? Come on. It's not us working to enter in. <laughs> But the flesh gets in the way of what Christ already paid for. Mm -hmm. The flesh gets in the way of the victory that we have through Jesus. Yes. Yes. And to get that flesh out of the way, you start praising God. <laughs> and when you start blessing the Lord, commending Him Come on. in adoration from your heart, not religious mouth, but from your heart, mm -hmm. from inside, it transfers you into the supernatural yes. power of God. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. Yes. This is the key. This is the key. I'm I have to sing all the time. Every day, some people will catch me singing. Why? Because I want to enter into the supernatural. I want to walk in the supernatural. I want to live in the supernatural. I want to walk in the peace and the power of the living God. I want to be obedient to what He says in His Word. You see, there's obedient praise. Huh. Come on, preacher. Oh, my goodness.